What's up divers? In this video, we're going to be covering the three mandatory knots that you need to learn as a dive master, as well as two knots that we regularly use as scuba divers. So let's get to it. Welcome to our channel, Asul Unlimited, where we teach all things scuba diving. My name is Sarah, and today, like I said, we're going to be covering knots. Knots are super important to us as scuba divers, and they come in handy outside of the water, inside the water. It's just useful to know your knots. The great thing about them is that there are tons. You can literally do anything with knots but you can do a lot with just knowing a handful of really useful ones. So let's go through the mandatory three first. Number one is the bow line. This can be one of the signs that people use for it, like a bow tie, or maybe you'll see people use the sign like this, like a bow and arrow. This is a really strong and safe knot. In practical uses, we will use the bow line for securing an item to a lift bag and using that lifting device to bring something heavy up to the surface. You can also take it apart fairly easily. Now remember, we are in quarantine and our boats are not around, so I'm making do with some pretty terrible rope. Okay, the knots do not stick very well on this rope, but we're just gonna make do with what we've got, cause you know, quarantine. Cool, so for our bowline, let's look at what we've got here. We need to start with a loop, okay? So a simple loop, you wanna have a tail because this is the part that you're going to be tying around or securing to an item, okay? So that this length will depend on what exactly you're tying. The loop here, it needs to be just a small loop. Uh, so the part that you're gonna tie to the object, you need to have that over the top here, okay? So you just see a six. And again, this is the part that we're going to be using to tie around an object. Say this is our object, okay? We would tie it like this. We'd bring the loop here, and that's how we would secure, <laughs> let's get it into focus here. That's how we would secure it, okay? We'd wrap it around and then start making our knot. Yeah? So, you've probably heard this maybe once before, but the rabbit comes out of the hole, around the tree, and back into the hole. You grab your working line and this other one here, and you can see that we're just going to tighten it down and make a little noose. Okay, let's see that again without this ugly brown rope in the way. Okay, so loop, we've got the six. Our working line here is on top, yeah. We bring the end of the rope here, come from behind. It goes through the hole, around the rope, the top and then back into the original hole. You grab onto these two on the side, the top here, and we tighten down. Cool. Number two, the double half hitch. A sign that we use around here, double half hitch. This one is really useful on the boat, okay? You'll see the boat captain and the crew using this knot all the time. It's really useful for tying to moorings, uh, securing to other boats, that kind of thing. It's a very simple knot and again, easy to dismantle. It's great for attaching a line to an object, okay? Again, we're working with what we have here in quarantine. We're just gonna pretend that this little carabiner is something that we want to attach our line to, okay? We can imagine that our line at the end over here on this side is attached to something heavy maybe, and we want to secure it to our carabiner here. So what we're gonna do is wrap around our item, our secure post, yeah? So we just wrap it around. Then we're going to do two knots, the exact same knots on top of one another, okay? So in this example, I'm gonna bring my working end 
over the top of my trailing line, okay? So over the top, I wrap it under and into that loop that I just created. Okay, it's a basic knot. Okay, it's very, very simple. I tighten it, and then I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Over, bring it under that loop that I just created, and tighten. Okay, double half hitch. Number three, the sheet bend. Our sign here for the sheet bend is this one. And the reason that it's this sign is because the sheet bend is perfect for bringing two ropes together. And we usually say two ropes of different diameters. That just means that they'll grip a lot easier. Here, it's a lot easier to see with uh, the two different colors, just to understand bringing the two ropes together. They are of different diameters, but again, I will tell you, these ropes are not great for knots. They really don't stick. Um, they're waxy, so they just slide around a lot, uh, but we're just going to make it work, okay? So, we want to attach these two ropes together. I'm going to use one rope and make a loop. Then, I take my other rope, my working end here, I'm going to bring this rope up, so from the bottom up through that loop that we just made with the other rope, okay? Then, I bring it around so it's going to wrap over and under this loop that we just created with the first rope from here this is really important we're keeping you can see my finger is holding space here in this little loop that we've created I need to wrap my working tail here around the first loop and then bring that inside here Okay, when I do that and I tighten, you'll see that the ropes tighten down on one another and there's a nice little locking factor here. Okay, if we forget to do that and we just go right back into this hole, this is not a sheet bend. People get very confused and they think this is a sheet bend. This actually ends up being a square knot, which we're going to go over in just a little bit. Remember, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. Now, for our extra knots, we have the figure eight loop. It's very useful because it's a secure knot, but it gives you a loop at the end. You can use that loop to attach to other things. All right, our figure eight loop. We need to start with a loop. This is eventually going to be the secure loop that we use to connect to whatever carabiner or if we want to do another knot to it. So we take our loop, we wrap over our trailing line here, around behind, and then back through this loop here. We pull it tight and that creates our secure loop that we can then use either to connect a carabiner, something like that. Okay, really useful. And finally, our last knot is the square knot. A square knot can be used on one single rope or we can use it to bring two ropes together like we saw before. Okay, so this is really simple. We need to do a right-handed knot over a left-handed knot or a left-handed knot over a right-handed knot. It just needs to be one on top of the other. Okay, so we're going to start here with our two ropes. I'm going to cross, wrap the brown one around and under. That's my first knot. I bring it here and I'm going to do the opposite. So blue is over, around, through the hole and knot it, okay? There you can see that same exact knot that we saw before. Ta-da! I wouldn't recommend using this knot to securely attach anything like a buoy or whatever just because it can come undone uh, with the movement of the water, waves, all of that. But it's a great tool just to use as a quick knot for something temporary. All right, so thanks for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Remember, you need to know those first three knots in order to get through your dive master course. So that is the bowline, the double half hitch, 
and the sheet bend. If you haven't checked it out already, we do have a dedicated video to the Dive Master course talking about paid Dive Master course versus Dive Master internship. So if you haven't seen that, make sure to check out the link in the description below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to not miss any of our future videos. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.